It's often said that someone who represents himself in court has a fool for a client. Yet sometimes, clients who represent themselves score the biggest wins. From his prison cell, Clarence Earl Gideon hand-wrote a petition to the United States Supreme Court. The court accepted his petition, and today, its decision in his case defines every criminal defendant's right to an attorney. Gideon's not the only self-represented client to score a big win. John Dioguardi fought New York City's United States attorney and beat him in the 1944 case of Dioguardi v. Durning. John Dioguardi tried to import what he called tonics from Italy. They were seized by the collector of customs at the Port of New York. Dioguardi alleged that even though he complied with American tax and import laws, the collector's office wouldn't release the merchandise to him, apparently owing to a price dispute between Dioguardi and his Italian supplier. After more than a year in the collector's custody, the collector allegedly lost two cases of merchandise and then sold the remainder at auction to a buyer who bid $10 less than Diaguardi bid. Diaguardi, representing himself in propria persona, filed a complaint against the collector seeking damages for the loss and improper sale of his merchandise. On the U.S. Attorney's motion, the federal district court dismissed the case for failure to state a claim upon which relief could be granted. Dioguardi, still representing himself, appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit.